I'm very glad just to have this brief opportunity of, um, of seeing you all this afternoon, and at least I've had a chance to meet some of the young people taking part, the I Will ambassadors, and um, I'm very glad to see uh, such a large number of people crammed into this Weira building here. And first of all, I, I did just want to say how grateful I am to uh, Telefonica and Weira and people like that who've been so incredibly kind and generous and, and helped so much in, in helping us to uh, make the most of what Step Up Serve is all about. And if I can just say that I go back rather a long way, I'm afraid, in all this, because about 40 years ago, I remember when in those days I was allowed to speak in the House of Lords, suggesting that what we really needed was a, uh, 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 a kind of national community service scheme. And in those days, nobody really wanted to know. And since then, gradually, bit by bit, I think it's become more apparent that there is a need to enable young people to make a contribution. And, uh, and it seemed to me that as different initiatives were developing in this field, and in fact the Prince's Trust, which I started 40 years ago next year, can you believe it, has been much involved in this sort of area, trying to help develop young people's self-confidence and self-esteem and to enable them to achieve the kinds of things they'd like to achieve. In other words, to help them develop their own potential. And that kind of approach, I think, has made an enormous difference. And all sorts of young people have been able to achieve an enormous amount as a result. And it just seemed to me that there were huge tricks being missed, particularly in the field of young people's organizations, uh, extracurricular opportunities in schools, uh, cadet units, all these things. And um, when I discovered a few years ago that there was an enormous uh, backlog of young people, for instance, wanting to get into the scouts and guides, or the boys brigades, girls brigades, organizations like that, all because there was a shortage of leaders and volunteers, it seemed to me that, again, there was a lot of opportunity to build on. So we managed to launch Step Up to Serve two years ago with cross-party agreement. And since the launch in 2013, I'm glad to say that more than 400 organizations have joined the campaign. And if I can just say, ladies and gentlemen, the goal is deliberately ambitious. We want to enable, if we can, an additional 1.5 million young people to participate in social action uh, by 2020. So, uh, again, if I may say so, your involvement, your willingness to help, uh, and your enthusiasm to do so is enormously appreciated. And the fact that you're here today is even more appreciated. So, I think, if I may say so, that the evidence uh, shows that uh, by participating in social action, young people simultaneously enhance their employability skills, developing resilience, empathy, uh, while also honing problem solving, team working, and communication skills. And you don't have to take it just from me, because I'm just quoting our campaign partners, such as the Confederation of British Industry and the Chartered Institute for Personnel and Development. So at least there's some evidence of all this. So if I may say so, it is very good to see that the campaign has rapidly grown into a UK-wide initiative. And I just wanted to say uh, today, again, that it all depends on bringing together as many willing partners as possible to enable young people to have the kind of impact that I know they want to have in so many different areas of the country. And the fact that we have all nations involved in this country uh, here and in taking part today uh, is even more encouraging. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all your help and involvement. Thank you.